Most young men spend their time riding about in automobiles, drinking malted shakes, throwing crab apples, yielding corn, playing table checkers, and f***ing young ladies. But some do not abide by this lifestyle. They have become homosexuals. Not much is known about what goes on behind closed doors. But from what we can gather, they choose to congregate together in dens of iniquity, with candles, and spend time with well-to-do older gentlemen with an affinity for home furnishings. These deviants spend their afternoons deviously thinking up new deviant things to deviate from the norm with each other with that they will stop at nothing to get their hands on any boy's instrument that crosses their path. Their homosexual lust is so great, and their erection so powerful, that they must manhandle themselves whenever or wherever the urge may strike. Advancements in modern science allow us to more accurately predict what these homos are imagining during their fits of perversion. Homosexualism can happen at any age. See young Billy here, constantly leafing through bodybuilding magazines. Look at how he clings to his bear. This boy is surely on the road to homo sin -uality. Here we see how the gay cells enter the bloodstream flamboyantly and spruce up those white blood cells. Sorry fellas, it's after Labor Day. But heterosexual science marches on. A revolutionary new method of treatment involves a concoction of bull testicles, aircraft parts, beer, John Wayne's stool, oil, a lasso, and a hearty handful of snips, snails, and puppy dog tails. And you too can help. Be sure to contact the authorities if any boy should suggest a joining of his groin with your hindquarter area. With your help, we can all be a part of a brighter, more hetero tomorrow. Or... Hetero...